Hello everyone, uh, I'm Quinten Liu, Professor of Bioengineering and Material Science Engineering, and also serving as Associate Dean uh, for Student Academic Affairs in the Forbes College of Engineering at the University of California, Riverside. Hi, my name is Queenie Lin, and I'm a fourth year bioengineering student at UCR. Uh, actually, I want to mention something uh, about Queenie sending this wonderful email. As a high school student, before she even started and before she knows she's going to come to Highlander Day, and she sent an email, can we talk in Highlander Day? I was so impressed by her email, very clearly written, very professional. And then we set an appointment to meet, actually specifically one-on-one -on -one in Highlander Day. And we talked and I shared, you know, our resources, our research opportunities with her. And she immediately followed up before she even started the summer before her freshman year. And through those different variety of opportunities, different research lab, you could do laboratory, you know, very hands-on research, you could do computational, and figuring out what's your inner passion, which aligned with your inner passion most, the best, and further develop that. Yeah, the worst that can happen is getting a no, um, contacting me again in a couple of years when you've taken these classes. Yeah, wouldn't hurt to reach out. Yeah. Better words. So the just the, yeah. I think there's been a lot of opportunities for me to research here. Usually when you research in a lab, you get paired with a graduate student mentor. So that would be someone that's in the PhD program or like a postdoc that just finished their PhD program. Mm -hmm. So I was paired with um, Chang Lu, um, who is a really good mentor. Um, he was very good at mentoring like new students, which is what Dr. Lu told me in the beginning. I got to ask as many questions as I wanted um, without him ever getting annoyed at me. And I got to do like the projects he was working on that I wanted to do and that I was interested in. I think my research experience has been rewarding. I've been in multiple research programs, done multiple research symposiums, been published a couple times. You get to do a lot of hands-on things that you normally don't get to do in like lab classes or on your own. And you get to work with a lot of materials and create things that are like kind of on the bleeding edge of research that again, you wouldn't get to do in classes. And we also, from different perspective, right? When we train undergraduate uh, research, we pair them with graduate students, postdocs, who more advanced, right? Already have a research experience as hands-on mentor in the lab, work with them closely, one-on-one. -on -one. So that way, the graduate student and the postdoctoral uh, researchers also gain mentoring experience when they mentor undergraduate in research. So I think that's. Uh, pairing experience in research is mutually beneficial. I was actually recommended by Dr. Liu, I think at the end of my sophomore year, my second year here, to this program called UC Leeds, which is run out of the graduate divisions of all the UCs. It's sponsored by the UC Office of the President. Um, it's across all 10 UCs. It's a two-year program. You commit to two years of research. The first summer you spend at your home institution. So for me, UCR in like Dr. Liu's lab. And in the second summer, you get sent to a UC of your choice as long as you can get into a lab to do research there for eight to ten weeks. So the first summer I researched in Dr. Liu's lab with Chang Lu. That was when we were writing our first manuscript, the first publication I had the, um, on the cranial window to the brain project. So we did a lot of writing on that manuscript and I helped with like um, the data collection and the data analysis for the cytocompatibility data. And in that program I got to do First, a lot of research, a lot of writing, a lot of professional development. I got to present at symposiums in the summer and throughout the school year across all the UC campuses. I think there were only like four people accepted that year into UC Meets at UCR. So that was really cool to have like a nice little community of like other aspiring researchers. Um, the second summer I spent at UC San Diego in Dr. Kwan's lab where I did research on traumatic brain injury and I also was published on that paper as well last summer. And now I'm, I'm a UC Leeds alumni, actually. Like Dr. Lu said earlier, like start as early as possible. If you're interested in doing research or you're just interested in exploring and seeing what research is, I highly encourage you to just literally look up professors and faculty at the, school, at the schools you're interested in at UCR, like I did. Just like look on their lab website, read some papers, and just start early and like email whoever you're interested in, send follow-ups because professors are busy. I have to say at UCR, it's like super easy to get into research. So just like shoot your shot. It's not hard. Find a professor that you like talking to and like to work with. College is about finding out what you don't like as well as what you like. And it's perfectly fine 
to like try out different research labs like I did. The thing you're interested in when you're 17 and in high school is not what you might be interested in like halfway through college, right? So it's, it's fine to just explore and then you get skills from all different kinds of labs. So it's really honestly beneficial as well to be in a couple different labs throughout your career. So Clingy has well, been one of the wonderful undergraduate student research I mentored, right, over the years. I always like to say, once you graduate, align your career with your interests and you have the opportunities, especially while you're in the college, right? Extensive learning and studying period to gain those experience, to identify interests, align that with your future career. That's, I feel, at least for me, where thought can lead to, you know, happy life and a productive life. Yeah. So that's my advice for graduates. <laughs> I just want to say thank you, Dr. Liu. I feel like I wouldn't have done as much in college if you didn't meet me at Highlander Day, if you didn't reply to my email back when I was in high school. So thank you for helping me with all the opportunities and recommending me for so many programs and awards and everything. I don't think I would be considering graduate school if it weren't for this program. It's a great experience to work with students. That's also very rewarding for us as a faculty member to see students learn and be successful uh, in the future.